Last night, Donald Trump stayed up half the night and frantically attacked everyone from NBC News to Politico to New York, suggesting that the pressure of his worsening criminal scandals is getting to him. This morning Trump picked up more or less where he'd left off, attacking everyone from Hillary Clinton to Congress to the FBI. But don't worry. Even though Donald Trump seems to hate pretty much all things American, he's not limiting his bile to just America. Somewhere in the midst of his ranting this morning, Trump set his sights on murderous dictator Kim Jong-un as well. Sure, Trump must have hit Kim even harder than he hit NBC and the FBI, right? Uh, no. It turns out Trump is more in love with Kim than ever. Here's what Trump had to say about one of the world's most monstrous leaders, I agree with Kim Jong-un of North Korea that our personal relationship remains very good, perhaps the term excellent would be even more accurate, and that a third summit would be good, in that we fully understand where we each stand. North Korea has tremendous potential for extraordinary growth, economic success and riches under the leadership of Chairman Kim. I look forward to the day, which could be soon, when nuclear weapons and sanctions can be removed, and then watching North Korea become one of the most successful nations of the world. From a diplomatic standpoint, we get the notion of treating the enemy just a little better than he deserves, in the hope that it might soften him up just a bit. But what Donald Trump is doing is far different. He's dishonesty attacking the American media, American icons, and American law enforcement, all while acting like he's wholeheartedly in love with an anti-American thug like Kim Jong-un. It's embarrassing, to say the least. Then again, Kim is the only one kissing up to Trump, even as everyone else involved has acknowledged that Trump is a criminal.